guys. Hey, Joe. What up? Well, it's on now. If you guys don't mind, let's do a second stand-up. I attempted one of the earlier links, but I, I had trouble with it. But also, we just had three folks walking in who participated in stand-up, but it's not alive. So remind us of the format. It's what we got done in the last week. What we intend to accomplish our sprint planning for the next week any blocking issues, and then we do retrospective. Then we're going to I'll go first. In the last week, I updated the CAD of the Bolt Together chassis, which should replace all the TIG welding and reduce the cost. Now, it does increase the weight just under 30 pounds, but the chassis is so light that we should still be able to hit our fuel economy goal. So if you just did the prototype of that, in the last week, I also traveled down to Naples, Florida, which apparently is resident to uh, more students per capita than anything else in the state. <laughs> and I worked with folks at GE, Four Seasons, um, and two of the oil companies, and we used to help them with that specific part. In the last week, I also had a chance to uh, work on Season Module Version 4 with a company in Anaphysis, Washington, and they're picking one up in the summer of other prototype engineers in the month of November, so that's all a month out. But we can grab it right now and jump. A friend of mine tries to be built at Atheon next week in Tucson and packaged with Milo the shipment to go down there. I I think that's everything except for maybe some work on the doors accomplished with Alex Schnapp and Milo Wing here in Linwood. Um, gosh. In the next week, I hope to uh, put the delivery to Raytheon Tucson onto the train. And I do hope to order a new engine module control unit, the electronic controller. And uh, what else do I need to do? And I hope to participate in a five-day build event in Tucson. The output of that should be another car. Um, in this case, who's that car going to? I'll have to see the customer's order spreadsheet to see where that ships. Blocking issues, I don't have any currently. The last one this morning. Who would like to go next? I need one, two. Oh, there we go. I guess I'll go ahead. Can you get out? Not a, not fully prepared here. Uh, so <laughs> uh, last week, um, several things written down here. Uh, I updated um, some info on the join the team auto reply, uh, basically removing the reference to the Friday Skype session, which we discussed last week. Um, I created an automatic uh, forwarding rule for the weekly Scrum Hangout so that it actually should be sending a notification. Uh, 24 hours in advance and then one hour in advance of the meeting with a link that you can click on to join um, the uh, the hangout. Uh, I also, I moved, uh, there was at the bottom of the website, there was like a leave us a comment link and it was in the footer, um, which worked fine on several pages, but any pages that were kind of short, it put it down lower than people would normally put because of the sidebar. Um, they wanted to put it below that. Uh, so I moved that up uh, to the bottom of each uh, page, uh, moved it into the, the page template and um, out of the uh, the footer uh, so it'll make it a little more visible and easy for people to use there. Um, oh, thank I you. guess uh, oh, yeah. I sent um, on Google Analytics, it's got some different reports. I just sent an overview, uh, like an overview report to uh, the Google group so people could check out how many hits we're getting every week. I actually plan on doing that either tonight or tomorrow also, uh, doing like one, one week at a time. It'll show the previous week hits and uh, what pages people are interested in, things like that. Um, 
see. Uh, okay, I verified. Um, I, I, I either don't have the correct login information or I don't know the procedure to get an Alibre Geo Magic license. Um, and then hopefully, I believe this is streaming to YouTube. I'm not sure right now. I tried to set up a YouTube live event for the streaming slash recording side of this. I've got a couple of alternate recordings running too in case that doesn't work. But at the end of this, I'll see if that actually worked out. Um, how I have written down. It seems like there were some other things I worked on. But um, for for next week, I really want, uh, I'm going to play around a little more with the uh, YouTube live events and make sure I've got that working correctly. Uh, and then I'll pretty much be back to the uh, WikiSpeed curriculum because I do still have the trial version of uh, GeoMagic anyway. That other people can help. On Thank you so much for that. Oh. The only if you can add a card. If you can add a card for me in Carica to um, uh, collaborate with GeoMagic on license updating, because that should work, so that lets me know that uh, we might need to re-up our sponsorship with them. Thank you, sir. And then they get moved down. And, um, and that's it. So the only block for me, of course, is the license. So I'll go ahead and add the card, and that hopefully will get us along in removing that block. You, that's I it for me. Attempt. <laughs> Chris, any other blocking issue at this time? Oh, okay. well, yeah. Not that I can think of off the top of my head, no. Awesome. That's awesome. Stand up. What you got done last week. Uh, you hope but the best you can into the, uh, to the world. Uh, uh, least, can I try this a little? Yeah, you can carry it with you, Michelle. That's the best yeah, part of the Recently, show. uh... uh I built this rack thing in the last couple of days, and it's going to hold all the composites. And can you can you guys see it? So that composites rack, as soon as I help Milo. where needed, which we haven't been able to do this should be uh, uh, a significant time to set up and tear down composite player. Uh, oh yeah, I still need the yeah. rest of the parts, so I'm uh, kind of dismantling it into parts for now. Uh, it was you have enough power to lift, so I decided to wait until I have the funds to pick up with the scrap parts, right? Just Correct. Fun. Cool. Cool. It, be it was kind of a fun project, so. What do you hope to rock next week? Um, actually, where computers figure up so I had new components, which I don't. when the thing shipped to Tucson tomorrow. Any blocking issues? Well, it would be helpful. I appreciate it. Well, there's a backlog there, too. <laughs> I mean, as far as what you would tell us for. I don't want to see it all go to waste. Um, anything else you'd like to or need to share? No. Okay, thanks. I usually talk too much. That's why I don't want to stand up. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Who would like to go next? Guys, I think you're up if your phone's on, if your uh, tablet is unmutable. James, is your connection okay? Can you hear me?
Hey, I'm back online. Uh, James, if you can hear me, I think you're up next. And then whoever's on the phone, dial then. James Kyes. <laughs> okay. Is there anyone else with current connectivity that's able to participate that has not yet? How about that any better? Yep, can hear you fine Hello. now. Uh, James, you got to stand hey, up. Hey, turned out I was on mute. Well, I'm driving, so I'll uh, just uh, had a moment, and Chris's uh, new emails got my juices flowing, and I happened to be driving, and so I had a good opportunity to step away and check in with you guys. So thanks, Chris, for automating that. It'll make it much easier to stay uh, uh, connected, if available. So not ideal. I'm, I'm uh, driving in the woods, but safe enough to jump in. Uh, I'm always hungry to pick up nerdy things, but uh, but the uh, I, I don't know. I, I want to spend some time with Chris, fishing around for some nerdy wins I could pick up for y'all. Otherwise, I am just here for moral support and to share my great mustache and my wonderful attitude. James, that might be all we need. Were you able to get in touch with the group in Florida? <laughs> Sort of. Uh, they just immediately said there was there wasn't an opportunity to meet up with you uh, on the 21st, uh, but we might look to do some business together in the future. So I'm going to register with them as a speaker. Sounds good. Yeah, they flew me in and flew me out the same day, so I I didn't wow. have time to eat. I had to eat on the plane. <laughs> but. Um, Wow. But I'm glad you're connected with them. They seem like they need quite a bit of agile coaching. Nice. I, uh, I just came from, so my product's done, and I've got flyers and marketing materials, and I was in Jacksonville showing that off and doing some agile training. And uh, I think I'm in the, I just signed a deal to write a book called uh, Don't, Don't Learn Scrum from a Chicken. Love it. Love so it. it's going to be about uh, Scrum from the perspective of a pig, and uh, I may punch I may punch things like safe in the face just a little bit. Uh, we got too many chickens out there running a fool trying to screw around with our uh, beautiful Scrum framework. Love it. Okay, I'll be looking forward to the prioritize. See if I can't pull some tasks to assist in the creation or the marketing or both. Cool. Uh, James, yeah. any blocking issues? Thanks. Good. I am always in my own way. I'm all good. Is there anyone on the call with a stand-up who has not yet given it? Done. That takes us to retrospective. Again, the format is 1 to 10, your ability to participate. And more, that's how able is the team to consume your skills when you have the time. And then 1 to 10 on if the team is succeeding, if it's delivering on its missions or if the missions need to change. Uh, I'll go first. The last, last sprint was incredible. It would be a 10 and a 10. The reason why is we're about to have uh, composites molds and a full composite shop shipped off to Tucson and uh, another engine module there. So not only will we get to train about a thousand engineers on how to build complex hardware projects in less than five days and they'll be creating another new car and they'll be setting up a composite shop. Uh, none of which they've ever done before, and I think that's spreading the good news. More than that, the Bolt Together chassis works even better in CAD now, so as to delivering on its mission statement, I think, I think the C3 now has a chassis. If we're looking at the eight modules of the car towards progression, I believe we now have a solid CAD candidate for the chassis module, and the next step will be building it physically. I may ask for folks in, in Tucson to try it. If not, I'll do it the week after I get back from Germany, uh, after they do their car build there in Berlin. Who would like to uh, give retrospective next? Oh, I'll go. Um, so I would say probably a nine for me. Um, I got, oh, uh, again, a lot done, but not as much as I planned to do. Um, and uh, probably a, a nine for the team, too. It's, uh, again, everybody um, seems to be getting stuff done. And uh, what would make it a 10 on that would probably be more communication on some of the things that are getting done throughout the week. Is there a process improvement, a Kaizen, you'd like to suggest? I, I don't have one written down. 
it, because I don't know if I'm going to have the time to deal with this, but I do think it may be time to go ahead and switch over to own cloud as the yep. document repository of, uh, of in use. Um, because especially if in this next sprint or in the upcoming sprint, I start um, saving out CAD files as step or STL files that may go over the limit on um, Dropboxes um, quota. So that so I think that some people would express that if um, if we did go with OwnCloud, that they maybe wanted a little hangout to go over how it worked. So maybe this week we could plan a time to have a hangout and uh, cover the, the, the basics of how OwnCloud works, and then, and then we can get switched over to it. James, I think you should just pull the trigger and do it. And I think the board, the classroom, here's how to grab what you need to OwnCloud. People can That's my opinion, by the way, is a process improvement. I would say no trigger. Your connection's breaking up a little bit. It's kind of hard to hear what you're saying. Please go just do the migration to own cloud. I got that. Okay. Is there anyone else on the call with a retrospective they would like to provide? I don't know that I can give you any numbers, but I uh, I would love to find ways to add value. I tried to surf the board a little bit, and I have some, some uh, we're zooming in on some shared time with uh, Chris. Uh, I think he's going to have a little better insights to things I can pick up on. Uh, and then I'm starting to look for uh, for a gig that I could pick up in your neighborhood and try to, I'd like to, in the next six months, spend a week uh, over in your neighborhood and, uh, and reconnect. So uh, looking forward to having a reasonable retrospect just as soon as I can get some wins under the belt. I love it. Well, you just sold the company, so oh my gosh, if you need another win this fast, your expectations might be through the roof. But I love it anyway. All right. Is there so you sold Wiki Speed? We've not yet given it. Process it is just that we can see the execute the next week in order to deliver more or be happier while we do it. No, not if it's already being implemented. If you do, please record it and the team will try to get it accomplished within the next seven days. I'm just curious who's going to come over. Is that Michael Chubb or? No, that's James Kyes. Um, the four people I'm expecting to come over, I think they're just going to walk through the door between 7 and 7.30. Folks, with that, that concludes all the necessary meetings to run this company another week. Thank you all very much. This now opens it up to crosstalk. But I'd like to introduce three people who I think I have a guess who they are from some emails from someone else I know. If they're who I think they are, I think there's three gentlemen here from the Lean Enterprise Institute, which are establishing the practices, socializing the practices, and if, I, if I've got this part right, although I haven't had a chance to visit them yet, of implementing them themselves and sharing what they know for lean practices globally. If I'm even half too close, or if I'm not, please correct me, I'd like to introduce these three folks to whoever's dialed into the meeting. Uh, if, uh, if you guys don't mind talking into the tablet, Okay. and saying hi, how you possibly heard about what the heck we are, and why you came here tonight, because, oh my gosh, thanks. Yeah. <clears throat> so I can say hello. Uh, my name is Josh Powell with the Lean Enterprise. Let's see, we're here all the way from Cambridge, Massachusetts, and uh, came tonight to check out uh, what you guys are working on. Um, how did you possibly hear about us? The background of the story <laughs> might come from John. Okay. <laughs> thanks, Josh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm John from the same place, uh, from Cambridge, just about a couple blocks from your buddies uh, Alex Brown and Jeff So at the CIC there. Yeah, so well, well, we're a couple blocks away. Yeah. And it's neighbors, and we heard about what was going on, and like John said, came by to check it out, be a part of it, see what you're doing. Well, I'm glad you did. So. Good. Okay, and half a continent away. Yeah, see what you did. Yeah, I just got in from Florida this morning, so it's been diagonal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and Scott. I'm Scott. I think the video's gone. Uh, I think so. All right. I'm Scott. The white light says we're on. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. I'll throw it out we got. Okay. Folks, is there any cross conversation? Thank you, Scott. Is there any cross all this a ship today? Complete. Okay. I'll be uploading the demo video from here tonight. 
And also, I've got a backlog of the last like four I haven't uploaded. My my bad, guys. I need to post a, a, a comment summary and tag them. I hope to get that all up before the end of this weekend. So please be expecting, gosh, about another two hours of, so you can see the current state. But I'll do a quick lap. Here's car number one that got 104 miles for Yon City, 114 oh. highway in the X Prize. It had four seats in it at that time. Car number seven, we've gotten back, and it's outside Bay 2. We, we uh, re repoed it, and now it's being shipped to Tucson. Um, and then the composites rack, which you've now seen. Uh, bay 3, the composites there are going to move onto this mobile rack, so we'll have more room there for machining. The materials up above Bay 3, we got another shipment of aluminum. That's another two cars worth of extruded aluminum. And there's another four cars worth of carbon uh, there currently. And then we've got enough beer to kill a horse, which should do just about right. And then... Music. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Felicia, you like her? In 20 minutes, we're going to need to play some. All right, guys, we're complete. Have an amazing day. I'm going to get to posting the backlog for tonight and pulling out the old stories so we have a clear list of what to do. Can I ask one question before you drop off, Joe? Sure. Uh, you, you're downstairs in the shop there right now, correct? Yes. Um, what what kind of wireless connection do y'all have? Because when you step away from where you are right now, and sometimes even there, the bandwidth gets real choppy. Okay, yeah. So we have a wireless repeater, but I'm not sure its status right now. We're on an 802.11n connection, and we are half underground. So I'm next to a concrete wall, which is below grade. Okay. I just... I'm thinking I might donate a wireless end connection for the part of the shop that y'all are usually in, so that uh, so that uh, when you do the stand ups there, you got a better connection. Is there an internet connection that you could can be hooked up to, or is that why y'all are using a repeater? Uh, I'm sorry, two people were talking at once. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is, is there a wired connection into uh, the location you're at, or is that why you are using a repeater? Uh, we don't have a wired connection here at all. all. Uh, it's from the telephone to a, wire, a wireless end broadcast unit. So we'd have to change our downlink to something that has RJ45s on it or similar because I don't think we have any currently. So even the wireless end doesn't have like a switch in, in it, the router that it could be run from? You know, I'm not sure. Maybe on the bottom there's an RJ45 out, in which case we could run something out. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. If you want to get into it, the service provider is Frontier, and you could see a Frontier uh, downlink and see what the options might be. Okay. I'll look into that, because if, if it's feasible, like I said, I may donate a wireless in connection for y'all's downstairs there, so y'all have complete coverage. No. That would be more than awesome, and the the provider to integrate with Frontier. Is Frontier. Yes, I got it written down in my notes. Correct. Right. Thank you, Joe. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna drop. Chris, thanks so much. All right. Well, good night.